What's up guys, Mike back again today, MF Vape. Thanks for joining the channel once more. We have got a vlog for you today, guys. It was going to be the review of the DripTech DS, but uh, you might have heard I've had a, a little bit of a problem with that one, and I'll talk about that in a, a bit. Uh, what I'm vaping on at the moment is the, the VLS, and I've got this in dual vertical coil mode, and I've pulled the coils out as well and uh, had a bit of a discussion with one of my uh, subscribers on the channel the other day and sh she mentioned that it would be very nice if we could drill out the holes so you could have the airflow coming from the sides like like how you would in vertical core but also maybe drilling out these holes so you, you're going to get the air coming to the cores from that direction too and I think that would be a very good idea I'm not prepared to do it on mine, but I said to her to uh, give it a go and to come back and tell us the results. So, yeah, but this is, oh, I do like the, the VLS. Let's give it a quick pull for you. The flavour on this is amazing, especially in vertical core mode. So if you haven't done already, check out my review on it. It's had over a thousand views now, so I'm very pleased with that but this is one of my favorite RBAs at the moment especially in dual core mode anyway let's go on to the DripTech DS uh, issue shall we here here it is here's the the clone mod of the DripTech DS and I was getting on fine with it there was a few flaws and I had a 30 minute uh, review that I'd uh, edited and uh, I put music on it and all sorts I was really happy with it and on Monday night I was um, vaping on it and vaping with the bonds on top and suddenly um, I sort of had a vape sort of held at my hand and the uh, the fire button this piece here it totally it just sprung off because there's a spring and a little plastic uh, threaded piece that goes onto the screw inside I'll, I'll show you down low in a bit what I'm talking about but basically it caused the the contact to actually just fall down and uh, contact, uh, so it was um, contact and onto the batteries basically, so basically the, the, the bonzer was just auto firing furiously and continuously as well, so I basically shit myself and I had to undo it uh, furiously, you have to go on the bottom because you have to undo the this uh, button here for the squonk bottle and you have to find the spanner thing to undo those contacts and I was doing all this thinking, fucking hell, I hope the um, thing doesn't uh, vent on me. So yeah, it did cause me a little bit of distress and I thought uh, I'm not going to do the review because I think it's a, a bag of shite really. And I've emailed 3F Ape and uh, told them so. Uh, haven't heard back yet, so I'll keep you posted to, uh, as to any developments there. But uh, unfortunately, I won't be recommending the DripTech DS. But uh, I'll show you down low uh, all the details uh, shortly. So that's that. Uh, there's been a few news articles, uh, well there's been a few coming up for the past since vaping uh, came out really and I just thought I'd uh, address a couple that I've seen recently and uh, one of them that uh, I think it was the Daily Mail uh, reported that vaping causes cancer, uh, it's just as carcinogenic as uh, cigarette smoking. And I went on NHS uh, Choices because they've uh, got the, uh, the same uh, article based on some research that was done in the US and they've just put it into like a, a, a format that, uh, you know, describes it actually how it is, uh, not in a scaremongering way. And uh, basically the, the gist of it is that vaping damages DNA in mice which may increase cancer risk that's the, like the headline if you go on to NHS uh, choices and have a look for this uh, particular article it will give you a, um, a bit of an in-depth in insight into what it was all about I thought that was quite interesting but uh, you know Public Health England have stated it's, it's at least 95 to 97 percent uh, safer than cigarettes so it just gives mixed messages and uh, there's another article I found on uh, Planet of the Apes uh, uh, that says about uh, public health England's uh, new evidence uh, 
the revised update of the 2015 review and uh, amongst other things the PHE is calling for electronic cigarettes to be prescribed on the NHS within the next few years and it also you know, c covers things such as 40% uh, uh, of smokers have not even tried any cigarette uh, there's much public misunderstanding about nicotine. Uh, less than 10% of adults understand that most of the harms to health from smoking are, are not actually caused by nicotine. Apparently there's about 3 million vapors in the UK and that's plateaued out. So I'm sure there's many more smokers that we could actually help turn towards vaping. Because we, we know it's not 100% safe, like we're breathing in uh, chemicals regardless of whether they're um, as, as bad as smoking or not. It's not 100% safe but it's a damn sight healthier than uh, smoking 20 tar ridden uh, 5,000 chemical ridden cigarettes. So, But yeah there's some interesting articles. Uh, this one's on Public Health England's website and I found it on Planet of the Apes and that's the article there. So if you I'll try and drop some links down in the description. I've also posted a, a few of these articles on my website to mfvape.co.uk on the front page. So if you'd like to check out that out, that'd be great. Right, so, so that is that. Um, what else have we got? We've got some first looks coming up for you uh, today. I've got um, a couple of new R. TAs, I'll sh show you down below. The first one is the uh, Asmodus, uh, what's it called, Zethria, and I'll show you a quick uh, up close in a minute. We've also got the Geek Vape Blade Mod, this one here, and uh, sitting on top we have the Blitzen RTA. It's been out for a while, the actual Blitzen, but this mod I found on Greyhaze the other day. I hadn't seen there's any reviews, so I thought I'd get it. So that one will be up, up in the next week or two after I've given it a thorough testing. But yeah, let's just give you an example of the, the Blitzen RTA. I only got this today, but the, the flavour on it is something else. I'm, I actually believe already it's better than the, the Bravo, which I reviewed recently, but you can see it's got this honeycomb airflow, and it actually works really well with it wide open. Normally I vape with half of the holes uh, shut, so yeah, I'm very interested to give this a thorough testing, and the review will be up in a week or a week to two. So that is that. Right, so I've also purchased a few items from uh, China, from. 3F vape again, and uh, we've got the K Fun Prime clone from SXK. Like I say, I'm still happy getting clone uh, tanks and RDAs, but I'm never going to buy a clone mod again, I don't believe. We've got the Gas Mods Nixon. I've also bought some new stainless steel wire and coils. Uh, We've got the uh, Asmodus Colossal, which is a single 18650 device, and I thought that should look sick with the uh, this zest here on top. And what else have I got? Uh, I've got some e-liquid coming, so I might even do a uh, juice review for you. And I've also got the uh, Revenger by, who's it by? Vaporesso, Revenger kit in gold, so that's all very good so that'll be coming up in the next uh, two or three weeks for you but uh, yeah that's about it really like I say the, the next review will probably be the Asmodus Zethia after I've had it about a week I'll put the review up sometime next week and we'll talk all about it then but at the moment I'm getting on rather fine with it it's a single coil RTA very good build quality and uh, all seems very good at the moment so we'll go down low and I'll show you the, um, the first looks and also that uh, the description on the issue I had with the Driptech DS. Right guys, we're down low with this uh, Driptech DS clone that I was talking about up top. Here's all the, the parts that come with it. Here's your, that's the top section, that's your bottom section. This is where the piece slips on and these are these grub screws 
that you need to undo in order to take the batteries out. As you can see, the threads aren't the best in the world. Look, they're getting stuck. Pain in the ass. This was all done up as well. So, you know what I mean? The amount of time it takes in an emergency, like that's been half undone. So, but the swank bottle goes in there normally. But yeah, that's that section. Here's the the top section, which includes the 510 and the uh, fire button and the contacts. Look, there's the 510. That, that just screws on there. It doesn't screw on there, it just sits on there, I should say. This piece has to be, there's a groove in it somewhere. Where, where are you? That's like that. This piece goes on and then this piece basically screws on. And that's where your squonk bottle will eventually sits like that. So it's, it's a bit of a botch job, really. A couple of these really tiny screws. Like I say, I did a a 30 minute long edited video of this. I was really looking forward to it. And then as I was about to upload, the unfortunate event took place. So I'm not going to go into detail here, but um, so these are your contacts which go on top of there and that will be connecting to your batteries so when the fire button is pressed it makes contact with this section here and I'll just show you the the fire button so let's take it apart with that just show you There's the spring and the piece of shitty plastic, which is uh, probably threaded by now. And it has to screw on to this, um, I think it's a gold plated screw. And that's basically it. And, and what happened was, obviously I hadn't realized, even though I have had this part two or three times during the week, this had, obviously come loose but I don't I just wasn't expecting it at all so you would get that down and tighten it up as far down as you can so that would be you know I just thought everything was hunky-dory so that's like that and, and what happened was this piece actually popped out so let's try and do a reconstruction of what what happened so that bits just taken a pull with the bonds on top this piece here literally it sprung out on the floor spring went flying so what would have happened was this contact here would, was just sitting on top of there so it's basically causing an auto fire because like obviously it's held up normally so that, that was held onto the um the, the contact the bonds is firing away furiously so i wasn't expecting it so i unscrewed the bonds as quickly as i can and i had to try and find this piece to get rid of my batteries and i was thinking should i just throw it on the floor but i thought i've got to try and get them out because i don't want it to explode in in my bedroom so I found this on my bed somewhere and then I frantically undid these uh, uh, what do you call them, big grub screws here and then got rid of the batteries but luckily they weren't hot or anything so but uh, yes it didn't half shit me up and, uh, and as a result I'm not going to put the review up because I think it's a bag of shite but there you go there's a, a few flaws in this like these screws are starting to strip there's two screws that go in there to hold it down and uh, yeah basically that's that guys I don't really want to talk about it anymore but uh, yeah that was the drip tech DS clone right time to go on to the first looks now guys right first looks time guys here's the Zestia from Asmodus that's the box it comes in 
And here's the, the tank. I've got it in a lovely metallic blue. The uh, build quality of this it looks exceptional. It costs about £27, so it's not the cheapest, but it's um, I'd class Asmodus as uh, quite a high-end uh, device, but it's got your 810 fitting uh, drip tip there. The threads seem nice on it. Like I say, I've only had this one two days. I've put three builds in already there. Uh, there's the bottom, and then we'll just have a quick look at the deck, show you what coil I've been running. There you go, it looks uh, reminiscent of this Serpent's SMM a little bit. So I've got a, I think it's a frame staple, and Chris Grimes in there. And uh, yes, very nice flavour so far. So that's the Zestia, a lovely single coil RTA. But I'll have the review up sometime next week. That's that one. Right, next we have the Blitzen RTA. And you've obviously probably seen a few reviews of this already. So I only got this one today. And I've got it in a rainbow version. As you can see, it looks uh, pretty sick in my opinion. You've got the 810 fitting with the... Uh, this one hasn't got... Uh, O-rings, but the Zestia did have the O-rings. I forgot to point that out. It does come with a lovely frosted, like a reduced bore there, and a comes with a 510 drip tip and a 510 adapter as well, which is very good. A uh, quick look at the deck on here. There's the bottom, the airflow. It's the um, old honeycomb effect, but we'll go into detail when I do the actual review. Currently rocking a couple of, uh, I think these are stainless steel uh, fused Clapton type coils I've got in here that I found at work, so I've chucked them in at lunchtime. And uh, yeah, that just, you have to find the holes on either side of where the airflow is to do it back up. So that's that. And so far, the flavour on this seems to be rather good. So watch this space, but that's the Blitzen RTA. And the next item I've got is called the Blade, and it's the, uh, what's it called, Starry Night version. And this is, can take, uh, quick look around it there, it can take, uh, what can it take? 21 700s. It's got some, my hands are reduced up, it's hard to get apart. There you go. I've got some 20 700s, so they both fit, but there is an actual um, adapter, so you can put your... Uh, 18650s and it's rather lightweight it's like a polycarbonate construction there's the 510 all looks very nice indeed on there you go it looks like it might have the same board as the uh, Aegis but so like I say I've only had this today so that's a quick uh, glimpse of the of the blade and it apparently goes up to 235 watts. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see on that one. The last thing I want to show you at the moment is a nice little toolkit I got from Coolmaster, the DIY version 3.0. And there's all your tools. You've got your snips. Your pliers, these two don't come with it, but it's got the angle-ended uh, tweezers, your ceramics, your Phillips and your uh, flathead screwdrivers. You've got a little cloth thing there. You've got 10 foot of camphor wire, and it's got a new uh, version 2 Coremaster Mini. And everything seems remarkably good quality. I'm very impressed. You've got your coiling rods here, and these go on your coiling jig that just screws on there like that then you feed your wire through either one of those it depends what uh, orientation you're going so that's the end of the first looks so i'll see you up top in a bit Back up top, guys. Uh, I'm vaping on the SXK the Supersonic. This one here, I've just reviewed it and I really thoroughly recommend it. 12 or 13 dollars from 3F Vape in China. Restrictive direct to lung, 
single core uh, RDA, 24 mil, and uh, it looks the tits and it really vapes very nicely indeed. So please check out the review if you haven't done already. Right, I've just spoken about the Driptech DS uh, clone and done the first looks uh, for you for the reviews that are coming up. Uh, it's a shame about that, uh, that Driptech DS because it really was, I was going to give it a recommendation, but it uh, just shows you with clones you, you can't always uh, guarantee what you're going to get. So it's definitely a no-no. Uh, I'll have to wait and hear back from 3F8 because I did uh, email them today to see what they would uh, say about that particular incident but yeah watch this space on that one i'll keep you all posted all right that about wraps up for this one guys if you haven't done already please check out my website at mf8.co.uk for anyone new to the channel uh, i'll be very much grateful if you could subscribe there'll be m much more content coming up soon i've got 83 subscribers now so thumbs up to everyone who has subscribed it really does mean the world to me if I could get to 100 subscribers, I could get a personalised URL. So we could have like YouTube forward slash MF8. So that is really my goal. I'm, I'm about 17 away from now. If I get close to 100, I'm thinking about doing a little giveaway for you as well. So watch this space. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that one too. Anyway, that one does wrap it up. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheers.